types of traders based on the time frame that they trade. Now there's two main types of traders. The first type of trader is obviously your short term trader, right? Or you can say short to medium term. Your next type of trader is then obviously your long term trader, right? Or you could say medium to long term type, okay? Now, by name, there's actually four types. Two of them belong to short term, two belong to the long term section. So the two short term traders are known as your scalper, number one, and your day trader, number two. Your long term traders are also divided to two. So this guy would be more of the medium type trader to long term versus this guy here. So this would be then your swing trader. The guys that believe what goes up must come down and what goes down must go up. All right, then your fourth type of trader is your investor type of trader. So we do all know how long investors can hold positions. Now, the time frames that they should be trading. Time frame. So scalpers are more focused on the M1, M15, no, 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 Let's skip one there, M5, and M15. With your day traders, it starts from M15 to M30 to H1. With your swing trader, it's H1, H4, D1. Investors will take it from D1 weekly and monthly. So this is the difference. So what it means is that a scalper will take or receive information every minute or every five minutes or every 15 minutes versus someone like an investor who's getting information once a day or once a week or once a month. Now let's discuss the pip range. I'm just gonna put here pip so you know that everything is in pips here. And we're gonna be looking at the range of the pips. All right? So basically this is the target that these people should be focusing on or the amount of pips that they should be used to seeing and achieving. So for a scalper, it's anything from 15 pips all the way up to um, 40 pips, plus minus estimated. Okay, with the day trader, it's also anything from 30 pips all the way up to 100 pips. Because even if you check the major currency pairs, they move about 100 pips a day. Sometimes 80, sometimes 90, sometimes 150. So this would be the average pip range when they're making decisions in the market. Your swing traders would then be looking for anything from 100 pips all the way up to 500 pips. And it could be more. Okay, and then your investor type traders are looking for 300 pips all the way into the thousands of pips. Okay, so this really gives you a perspective of why these people will stay longer in the market and why they're using bigger time frames. Bigger time frames, more pips, smaller time frames, less pips. So your strategy has to fit in within your specific goal term. So if you're a short term orientated person, stick to the short term time frames because your strategy will work well there and you won't be finding yourself sitting in a trade for weeks or days but you are um, in essence trying to scalp because then that doesn't make sense. So what we're seeing here is that your scalper can make money in literally minutes to hours. Your day trader can make money in hours and your swing trader can make money in days for instance and then your investor can make money in weeks if you want to look at it like that, All right? Now, I want to look at the least um, effort time frame that they should use, and this will actually kind of explain which time frame you should be looking at. So let me scroll down a bit here. So basically for a scalper to say, you know what, I'm lazy, um, I don't want to overtrade today, uh, let me just focus on the lowest time frame that I have. Um, let's get a beautiful color here. Um, it's so hard to choose a color. Let's go with the blue. All right. 
So this would then be obviously the highest time frame, which is then M15. So that's the time frame they would use if they're feeling lazy and they want to take it easy. A day trader would be looking at the chart at least once an hour uh, because of the highest time frame. Day trader, the highest time frame is the daily, uh, so at least once a day. And the investor is monthly, so at least once a month. Okay, so this is them being lazy and trying to not put in a lot of effort into their trading. Okay, so this would mean that these two types of traders, your scalper and your day trader, are actually they're actually spending a lot of time in front of the screen. So let's write it down. Right? The screen time here is high. Okay. versus these two characters here, their screen time is actually very low compared to those guys. Right. So obviously the people that work, that go to school, I would say become a swing trader. And also if you're just starting off with trading and everything, I still think swing trading is for everyone or investing trading is for everyone. This is easy, it allows you, it gives you enough time to make decisions and all that. It actually takes a quite experienced trader to then start scalping or day trading. So this is actually meant for full time traders. So if you're a full time trader, you better know your stuff. Right? Because you can't be a short-term trader if you actually not a full-time trader. Right? So the skills you can get here, the market space on the longer time frame is actually very beautiful. You should try it out. And if you have all the time in the world, short-term trading. And as I said, if you keep to this time frame, you can actually save yourself a lot of money or a lot of mistakes. Stop over trading, stop under trading and stop taking small profits. Um, this could impact that. So did you find out today which type of trader you are? And if so, tell me why, leave me your comments below. And if you think I missed anything, uh, also drop the questions below. Until we meet in the next video, peace.